so friends in the previous lecture we studied about ll1 parsing table how the ll uh, ll1 algorithm itself and how it works specifically and we solved an example with the help of ll1 parsing table but in this video we are going to study about the construction of the ll1 parsing table okay so how it is constructed let's see it's very interesting and it's very um, important in the uh, point of the examinations also and it's favoritely asked question in the exam okay examiner's favorite choice it is okay ll1 passing table construction so what is there uh, and the question mainly comes is that uh, detection of ll ll1 grammar whether a particular grammar is ll1 grammar or not uh, that that funda will be more clear to you if you understand how the construction of passing table is made and how the conflicts are there coming if you are clear with this and you can easily solve the detection of ll1 grammar itself uh, but uh, directly say uh, seeing to the grammar okay so this is how so keep attention pay attention to it and uh, uh, let's solve it okay so you have to construct the ll1 parsing table so uh, what is uh, that the requisite is that firstly calculate the first and follow of the each non terminal okay you have to calculate the first and follow of each non terminal actually it's not required to calculate each and every um, there is a condition okay there are two conditions basically so two conditions are there that is if um, s produces a a uh, b c suppose uh, here let's see if it is produces a a b c then variable s put put in first of uh, s okay uh, first of rhs we want okay first of rhs we will want and if epsilon is not present here epsilon is not there okay we will calculate the first of rhs and second case is that if epsilon is present here in the rhs then you have to find the follow of lhs okay follow of left hand side if s produces epsilon okay there is a logic here okay uh, the first uh, first of rhs is taken but if f is epsilon then nothing is there in the right hand side so you must get to follow of right hand side so what is there in the right hand side of s we actually want the what is present in the right hand side of the s production but uh, lhs is non terminal but here what is there uh, to the right is the first of rhs okay but here if epsilon is present and follow of lhs we have to perform so these are the applications of first and follow also first and follow use is very uh, huge okay it is uh, very useful everywhere so if you are not uh, friendly with first and follow please watch uh, the earlier videos of first and follow i think part 10 is there uh, if it uh, it might create confusion if you don't know about it okay so let's uh, do it uh, so uh, remember there are two steps basically if epsilon is not present here then we'll take the first of right hand side but epsilon is present here we'll take the follow of left hand side okay so remember it okay it's very logical there is no memorizing kind of thing okay you have to do it very logically everything now e produces t e dash okay for this one for uh, right of uh, e that is first of rhs since it's not producing epsilon the first of uh, um, rhs let's uh, calculate the first and follow of each and every part okay so that will be helpful okay so i am uh, doing the first and follow of each and every part so for first of let's make it here i will uh, copy and paste it first of all so it will be easy okay this part i should copy sorry it's taking a like lot of time so i will write it again don't worry and we'll uh, take the first and follow of every one that e produces t e dash e dash produces plus t e dash this is our grammar or epsilon then uh, t produces f t dash and uh, t dash produces star f t dash public epsilon f produces i d okay you have to find the first and follow of each and every for simplicity okay so i'm doing first and follow of each non terminal you have to make for e e dash let's make it with t t dash and f okay for first of uh, e is first of t and first of t is first of f 
uh, and first of f is id so first of f we can write it here id and uh, first of t is first of f so this is also id and uh, first of uh, uh, e is first of t okay so this is also id and first of uh, e dash is plus oblique epsilon plus or epsilon and uh, okay for epsilon also epsilon. and for t dash it is star oblique epsilon okay you can see it like this now for for, for the follow for the follow one it's the uh, sometimes students find it confusing so it's tricky so pay attention to it okay so and there it is so for e find e in the right hand side first of all the starting symbol so dollar will be there so find e in the right hand side so we are not able to find e in the right hand so dollar is only the follow set of e for e dash let's check out e dash on the right hand side e dash is present here here and uh, only here okay so let's do it so here what is there uh, for follow of e dash is follow of e so let's write dollar follow of e dash is follow of e dash so nothing interesting if it is contains epsilon okay so if it contains epsilon then what happens epsilon can be substituted here so follow of uh, e dash can be uh, the e dash value can be substituted so follow of that means the same okay so dollar is only there and uh, for uh, follow of t follow of t is uh, first of e dash all of t is first of e dash that is plus comma uh, epsilon cannot be there so uh, for sub first of uh, uh, follow of t is that is follow of t let's mark okay follow of t is here and here follow of t is first of e dash okay and first of e dash is plus an epsilon so epsilon is also there so we have to substitute it also so after substituting epsilon here we'll get what um, follow of t is also follow of e okay follow of e so follow of e is dollar so dollar will be also there and here also uh, follow of e uh, t is follow of e dash okay so dollar is same so so we are writing it we are done now for t dash what we have to do we have to calculate the follow of uh, firstly follow of uh, t dash so find t dash in the rhs part okay we are going to find the t okay t dash in the rhs part here it is and here it is so follow of t dash is follow of t first of all so we are writing it and follow of t dash is follow of t dash nothing to worry now epsilon put it here we are putting it here epsilon also uh okay so no need of putting epsilon here it's done and for follow of f follow of f is let's take for where are f it is f here f here so f follow of f is first of t dash first of t dash is into comma epsilon so we have to fill the entries here we have to remember it okay no need of remembering uh, remembering it you have, you can consult these first and follow okay now is there uh, let's fill the table for e produces t e dash first of t on the first of t you have to uh, write it down okay first of t uh, is let's check out our table first of t is id so you have to write it on id that is e produces t e dash okay so we are writing here now next one is our e dash e dash yeah e dash for e dash so it is plus oblique epsilon epsilon is also there okay epsilon is also there in the right hand side part so uh, for this uh, uh, for this production you can write it uh, very easily that is rhs of uh, first of rhs that is you can write it on plus okay you can write it in on plus that is e dash produces plus t e dash but for um, e dash produces epsilon you have to write it uh, anywhere else so that is on the follow of lhs okay so let's see follow of lhs follow of lhs follow of e dash follow of e dash is dollar so you have to write in dollar that is e dash produces epsilon will be there in dollar okay now for uh, for t 
T produces F T dash. Uh, we are having um, the first of F. Okay, first first of right hand side part. So first of F is I D only. So we have to write this in I D. Okay, so we are writing in this I D part. So T produces F T dash is in the I D. Okay, now um, T dash. For T dash for the star, this is first of R H S star. So we can place this here. T dash. Produces star F T dash, but for epsilon, epsilon production will be written on T dash. Uh, produces epsilon will be written on the follow set of T dash. Okay, so follow set of T dash, you can see, follow set of T dash is plus comma dollar. Okay, so plus comma dollar, you have to write T dash produces epsilon and T dash produces epsilon. Okay, now for F produces I D. Okay, for F produces I D, you have to write it on I D only. Okay, because the first of right hand side is I D only, so you are writing it here. So F produces I D. So you have completed filling the L L one parsing table. You are easily doing that, and you are uh, by uh, going through the some more example, you will be perfectly uh, master. In the L L one passing table construction, let's see. Uh, this was the previous question uh, we discussed in the previous video. Let's check out the uh, where the passing table was already given. So we have uh, made the passing table itself. So let's check out whether it's same or not. In the previous case, okay. Uh, actually, I deleted it. Okay, it's same. Okay, it's it comes out to be same. And you are uh, professional now to build a L L one passing table. Okay, thanks for listening. If you like the video, please like and share. And uh, for further updates, please um, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.